Good evening and welcome to the RCS 2020 graduation premiere. Board of Education members, Dr. Bailey, administration, faculty, family and friends, please honk your horns and flash your lights as I proudly present to you the RCS High School Class of 2020. It is now my pleasure to introduce Charlotte Snyder as she leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the singing of our national anthem by Peyton Vanderheiden. Good evening. Normally, I would ask you all to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, but as we are not supposed to exit our vehicles at this time, that is not an option. However, you may visualize standing for the pledge if you would like. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and congratulations to the RCS Class of 2020. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Thank you, ladies. It is now my distinct honor to virtually pin our top 10 students. Haley Mitchell, Shane Racy, Brielle Mitchell, Peyton Vanderheiden, Christopher LeDuc. Emily Sullick, Rebecca Sagendorf, Rachel Williams, Charlotte Snyder, Samuel Nava. Congratulations to our top 10. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Brian Bailey. Hello graduates. About four years ago, you were just finishing up your freshman year. And about the same time, we brought together 80 community members, which included students and parents, staff leaders, business owners, and other community members. And we asked them, what is that one trait that we want all of our graduates to leave RCS with? They overwhelmingly said, Resilience. Well, what is resilience? Resilience is the ability to overcome adverse life experiences and to bounce back. It's also important to note what resilience isn't. Resilience does not mean that a person doesn't experience stress, emotional upheaval, or suffering. You, the members of the class of 2020, have had your resilience tested and your families have really had their resilience tested. They have led you and fed you and watched you grow and become these fantastic adults that are with us today. And all that all of us have wanted for you was a graduation, one that was like ours, a victory lap, a chance to hear a round of applause, 
and really to acknowledge all the great thing that you've done. I, I just want you to know we are celebrating all the successes that you have shared with us. We're just doing it at a social distance. So as we look forward, we're going to continue to celebrate all of the wonderful things you've given us and all that you've done and all that you will become when you leave us. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Please welcome to the podium our salutatorian, Mr. Shane Racy. Class of 2020, back in September, at the beginning of the school year, I thought this was going to be the best year of my life. I had easy classes, I'd be hanging with my friends every day, and I would have an unforgettable track season. I was looking forward to our senior ball, our class trip, and pulling off one of the greatest senior pranks this school has ever seen. Just the average American high school experience. And then we got blindsided by something that none of us could expect. Now, I was sleeping for 11 hours a day and eating soup for breakfast at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. At first, I was okay with learning from home. But as the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, it slowly became harder to stay motivated and I slowly saw my concentration fading away. A chapter of our lives was cut short and we never got to say goodbye to it. I'm sure this feeling is relatable to everyone. But staring at my ceiling for the past two months, I've realized something. History found us. Things are changing in the world at an alarming rate. This year has left us nothing but fear and anxiousness. Many people have lost their lives. Unemployment is at an all-time high, and riots have broken out across the nation. We are entering a world that is very different from what we were expecting. It's unfortunate that our current events are forcing us to experience these hardships, hardships that most people encounter in their lifetime. But we're experiencing this in just a few months. One thing I do know is that our generation will be prepared for what is yet to come. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, I see a bright future for each and every one of us. Our country needs us more than ever now. Things will change for the better. And the class of 2020 will be known as the class that will be remembered. Thank you. Thank you, Shane. Please now welcome to the podium, our valedictorian, Ms. Haley Mitchell. Good evening, fellow students, parents, faculty, and staff. Even though I'm standing in an almost empty auditorium in front of only my parents and a few faculty members, I still wish I would have taken Ms. Foley's public speaking class. When I first started writing the speech, I believed it was going to be nearly impossible. I thought, what could I write about during a global pandemic? The entire world was put on pause, not just our senior year. I know we all feel like something was taken from us, a part of our lives that we won't get back. But during this hard time, we have to remember all the things we did get to do. We were able to put on our school's drama production. We got to go to Salem. We had our fall spirit week and pep rally. We got to go to our last Friday Night Lights football game. We had our junior prom, and we even had some of our senior nights. COVID cannot take away three and a half years of memories from us. Our class is strong and has made so many memories. We have state champions, cancer survivors, future nurses and teachers, and aspiring actors and neurosurgeons. The list could go on and on with all the amazing people we have in this class. I know this is not how we wanted our senior year to end, but how we act now and after we graduate defines who we are. Every single one of us is determined, resolute, and has something to bring to the world and we can't let COVID prevent us from doing that. This is only an obstacle that we must overcome before we start our new lives. Even though not everyone has known each other since elementary school, now is the time for us to band together and work for the futures we all dreamed of. I know there is no other class who could get through this like we can. We are all fighters who can make the best of this situation. If we can survive the Buffalo scare of 2015, we can get through this. It has been an honor to go to school with each and every one of you. 
I would like to end this with one of my favorite quotes from Theodore Roosevelt. The joy in life is his who has the heart to demand it. Now, this is our time to demand our joy and our reward for our hard work. We all deserve it. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We made it. Daniel Powell Berry. Emily Krista Brink. Sydney Taylor Brooks. John Dylan Miles Bagley. Charles Lewis Bianchino. Martin B. Brzezowski. Dale Ruckman. Ian Thayer Alexander Cardinal. Juan Carlos Castillo Santez Jr. Rebecca L. Sagendorf. <laughs> Hannah Ann Call. Madison Paige Cardone. Joshua R. Carey. David Paul Close. Ryan DeGraw. Mitchell Avery Kraft. Mark Andrew Demetrazic II. Cheyenne Jean Marie Delisle. Trevor Kiedis Dikowski.
Class of 2020, congratulations. You made it. We're all very proud of you. We cannot wait to see what great things you accomplish in your future. Please stay in touch. We will miss you. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Follow your dreams wherever they may lead. Aiden Thomas Cronin. Craig Foy Jr. William Galo. Jonorlis Diaz Rolon. Justin Matthew Firstgen. Preston James Finn. Nino Anthony Futia. Morgan Rose Glassbrenner. Dylan Michael Hansford. Edward Anthony Greenwood the tenth. Tyler James Granger. Caden Gransbury. Abigail Marie Howe. Cameron Joseph Capusta. Spencer Thomas Kane. Angelica Lindsay Jones. Jada Danielle Johnson. Jennifer Dorcas Keller.
Jelena A. Jones. <laughs> Olivia Rose Jones. Congratulations to the class of 2020 from the RCS High School Music Department. We couldn't be more proud of your accomplishments. It has been a privilege to work with you these last four years. Your talent, hard work, and leadership will be greatly missed. We wish you the best of luck and can't wait to hear about all your future adventures. Jaden Robert Johnson. Julia Marie Kowalski. Sadie Elizabeth Lambert. Kaylee Adora Karachenko. Taylor Rose Lang. Charles Prime. Christopher LaDuke. Bruce Lawrence Kelly. Megan Riley Kuchta. <laughs> Haley Mitchell. <laughs> Shane Racy. Hi there, congratulations to all of you seniors. I wish you all so much success now and in the future. I'm so proud of you. I've been honored sharing my life with you for these past four years. I really hope that you will come back and visit and stay in touch. Felicitations, bon chance avec tout. Mackenzie Marie Loster. Zoe Ann Libertucci. Daniel J. Loki. William James Langer. Aaron B. Manning.
Sophia Marjasso. Eric William LaCroix. Cole Pullman Mizoraka. Mary McMullen. Kaylin Elizabeth Mercer. Class of 2020, I am so proud of you. We will miss you and I wish you all the best. Zachary J. Marjasso. Megan Ann McHugh. Andrew Cole McMullen. Brielle Mitchell. <laughs> Kaylee Ann Pagnata. Matthew J. O'Connor. <laughs> Dominic M. Nataro. Christopher Ortiz. Katrina A. Morrow. Samuel Nava. from the members of the RCS Board of Education. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you for sharing your best with RCS. Good luck in all that you do. We are so proud of you. Enjoy the rest of your life. We expect you'll do great things. We will miss you here at RCS. Come back and tell us about your success. Augustine Osai. Sonora Lynn Schwartz. Corey L. Phillips. Stephen Putnam. Yeah. 
Alexis Marie Schramm. Nelson James Ruoff. Benjamin T. Radiz. Zebediah J. Pakora. Joshua James Shear. Mark William Sitz the third. It is now my pleasure to share a few words with you before we send you off into the world to do the great things you were destined to do. You might be wondering why I chose to deliver my message from an empty hallway rather than in the auditorium. Well, one of my favorite quotes is by DeWitt Jones, photographer for National Geographic, and it says, when you celebrate what's right with the world, it gives you the energy to fix what is wrong. By standing here in this hallway where I greeted you each morning and throughout the day, it helps me to celebrate what is right with the world as I fondly remember your smiling faces as you bustled by. It was the place where I checked in with you, where I asked how your game was, how you broke your leg, how your mom was, or just how are you today? It was where I congratulated you on a win or an amazing performance that I was privileged to witness. It is where I asked how your classes were going, what colleges you were applying to, or even the dreaded, can you please take your hat off? It's where I got to see you interacting with each other, chatting and laughing and hustling from class to class. Well, some of you hustled. This was the best part of my day where I got to interact with you. If I were asked to create a list of 150 items that celebrate what is right with the world, I could fill it up with 118 spots right now with each and every one of your names on it. You are talented, smart, funny, kind, and resilient. As Haley so eloquently stated, as she celebrated what is right with the world, you put on an amazing drama production. You made memories in Salem, at your junior prom, and at sporting events, which further bonded you as a class. You had your fall spirit week, pep rally, and your last Friday night lights, football game, all places where you spurred your classmates on and showed your RCS spirit. I've seen you cheer for each other on the field, on the courts, in the classroom, on the stage, or in the gym at the outstanding pep rallies that we have here at RCS. The way you have bolstered each other up and cheered each other on truly inspires me. Nothing warmed my heart more than to see so many of you shave your heads in honor of one of your classmates who lost his hair after having gone through treatments for an illness that he beat with determination, grace, and dignity, I might add. You are all heroes in my book. Throughout your life, and especially this year, you have already been presented with challenges that have become opportunities for you to rise up and overcome, which I have witnessed you do. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what is right with the world. Class of 2020, your resilience, 
your strength, and your smiles inspire me. And they give me optimism that brighter days are coming because you are our future. I know that you are going to go out and make a difference in the world because you are the RCS class of 2020, the class that overcomes, the class that gives us all hope and a reason to celebrate what is right with the world and gives us the energy to together fix what is wrong. Congratulations, class of 2020. I will miss you. Brianna L. Smith. Rose Genevieve Stalker. Marshall J. St. Pierre. <laughs> Ashlyn Denise Seltzer. Shavia Stewart. Lucy Marie Trenchard. Anthony Armando Teolis. Victoria Marguerite Badney. Logan S. Tute. Matthew James Waddingham. Ryan Charles Van Warmer. Emily Elizabeth Sulek. Peyton A. Vanderheiden. Jonathan J. E. Zarcone. Jeremy R. A. Park. Rachel Rose Williams. Allie Marie Young.
Charlotte Snyder. Ethan Aldrich. Vaughn Lee McCallop. Cheyenne Miranda Martone. And now, if our graduates will please rise for the turning of the tassel as Dr. Bailey and our board president, Mr. Edward Reveille, confer your diplomas. Dr. Bailey, have these graduates of the class of 2020 met all of the requirements set forth by the New York State Education Department and all district regulations? Yes, they have. By the power vested in me as president of the Board of Education, I hereby declare you the 2020 graduates of Ravina Queeman Selkirk School District. Students, please move your tassels from right to left. Now, as we continue to celebrate what is right with the world, please enjoy the memories of the class of 2020.
Before we depart, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who made this evening possible. I would also like to send a big shout out to the families, faculty, and staff members who pushed and pushed and pushed every one of our students to get them to where they are today. Also, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the RCS Central School District, it is my pleasure to once again say, congratulations, class of 2020. We wish you all the best.